Hi everybody, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Uh, you can connect with me in any way, but please send an email if you have any questions. Um, this is your weekly reading for the 8th till the 14th. All the um, weeklies are out and also the romance readings, so if you haven't watched any of them, please do and welcome to the channel if you're new and if you're a cyber angel welcome back and thank you for coming back and supporting the channel our channel and it's great i'm getting into contact with a lot of my cyber angels and it is lovely really nice to get to know you so i've started a new page where I hope I will meet some of my cyber angels or Facebookies and um, that is called Charlie's Angel Crowd there on that page I will be doing uh, workshops in the autumn with uh, regard to the two books that I have reviewed The Healthy Witch and The Workplace and Spells and it is basically an a, a workshop that you can get back into your own power love yourself a little bit more get to know yourself there will be meditations discussions also exercises with this book have a look at the review on this book uh, it is quite extensive and if you would like to join our page my page on angel uh, Charlie's angel crowd then go to Facebook and uh, apply for a membership. It doesn't cost you anything, um, and uh, we'll, I'll be also doing live zooms or interactions, and there you can see each other. Um, I, all I ask is answer the questions when you apply to become a member, and uh, because I'm very selective, also because I would like to protect everybody um, that comes onto the page and has the chance to go live in a zoom it's a basically it's called the rooms so you it's like a zoom or like a skype um, chat you can bring anybody into it and uh, because I will be doing workshops um, I will be interacting with uh, you and you will be interacting with me and others that are doing the workshop also, uh, you don't have to uh, switch your camera on, you can switch your camera off, but keep the sound going so that you can see what is happening um, in the room. So that is uh, a piece of protection that I'm trying to explain, um, but also I hope that everybody understands that if you do come in you will be seen by others as well I will not um, share the uh, workshops it will stay in the room what happens in the room is private okay and I hope when you do interact with us and me in a live zoom um, that you have respect for each other and each other's privacy so this is your read. I hope to see you there. And if not, I hope to see you in the live on YouTube, Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Please like and share the videos. I do appreciate it. My gratitude to all that do. And uh, we are growing rapidly. Also, I this week, uh, I'm, I'm taping this on the 3rd of August. Um, yesterday was Sunday and I went out live on the first time um, on Facebook in a special group that was called Life and Soul and they also do this to make money for small charities so uh, I'm a, f a false believer in giving back uh, because I've received so much I have my channel I have my children my animals and my cyber angels and thank you for being a cyber angel and now it's my time I'm able to give something back by sharing my talents with those that are interested and um, it was fantastic and you will see the video later um, um, appearing today okay 
Um, I might put this out a little bit earlier because everybody's going on holiday and um, you might just catch this video before you go on holiday. It is summer holidays after all and some of you might not be able to see this once you're away because there might not be any wifi. So if you are going on holiday, have a beautiful holiday and to all the Leos, happy birthday. It is a month full of action and um, determination. It is a very, very strong power. So don't be too dominant, uh, anybody, if you have fire in your chart, because, but be determined, okay? Use your power and your strength wisely, and there won't be any negativity. Right, let's get started with the reading. On Friday the 8th of August we have the first card and the first card is the Ten of Fire and we open the reading with a fire energy. It's been tough, it really has been tough for a lot of people uh, with the Covid and the situation, economic situation at hand, but things are going to get better. better. It felt like if you were dragging a load of logs or a dead horse. Well, the end is in sight. Just look at the camp. The camp in the distance. Only a few more steps. Don't give up now. A ten is an ending and there, where there is an ending, there is a new beginning. So carry on. Just go with the flow. That is what I'm he hearing. And stop dragging dead horses or logs because they are all only a burden, okay? Um, I know you can't stop because sometimes it's beyond our power to um, do to stop something, but let go. Give it to the angels and the divine. They will help you and take your load away. It is showing us, okay? This is th Saturday, the eighth, not Monday. Sorry. And on Sunday we have a new beginning. Like I said, the end is in sight and boom, here it is. You've got the Age of Pentacles, the a uh, Ace of Earth. So you could be meeting a Virgo, a Capricorn or a Taurus. This could also be uh, a relationship um, that it has durability and for long term. Make sure that you, whatever you are, whether you're a Leo or a water sign or an air sign, remember this sign, the earth signs, are steady and slower um, than others. So just bear that in mind. They are some there are people and that is the sign to build for the future so you might fall head over heels in love but it will could take a little bit longer um, to get it up and running you have to get to know each other and that takes time you have to learn to trust each other not just love each other because that is also passion and that doesn't last you want something that is durable uh, tangible and for long term don't just let it be a summer love affair. This could also be a new job, a new home, a new investment. Then on Monday we have the Four of Swords, the Four of Sky. Wow, and before I started to read the cards, I said to you, uh, some of you might be on holiday. And that is exactly what the Four of Sky, the Four of Swords mean. And the swords are represented by the feathers in this card. Awesome, lovely. And look at the people being together, grouping together. But you, they're all sitting around and relaxing. The card means time to take time out, perhaps to meditate or contemplate and evaluate the situation or question at hand. Listening to those new ideas, if new ideas come in a moment of peace, then listen to them. Open your mind, open your heart to this moment in your little sacred time, in your sacred little space. 
you might get a new idea and you might be thinking how can I put that into projection in something tangible and durability durable and for long term it could be about a relationship or a friendship that you want to turn into a relationship or a new job and you've just started there and it wasn't uh, certain whether you were going to stay there but you are thinking about it you're taking time out and evaluating the situation so that could be on Monday sorry I'm drinking coffee and it is half past ten in the morning here and this could also be with a new friendship or a, a potential relationship then we have the three of C and that's the three of cups celebrations Ooh, that is beautiful and that is on Tuesday but remember time is man-made so it could already happen on Monday you might have uh, started this new friendship or relationship and you might be celebrating getting engaged you might have this new job and you've got the new you've just decided that you want to stay there because you got an offer you're celebrating whoopee okay I love celebrations gets together with family and friends gorgeous so then we have on Wednesday the two of cups emotional balance well I think you are emotionally balanced if you're not then make sure you do and the two of cups means also you might have you are um, uh, celebrating with your soulmate this can be a partner but this can also be your best friend it doesn't have to be a life partner it is a soulmate is a, your best friend and um, you might have met each other and you're celebrating that if it's a new person or if you've just realized they are your soulmate you're emotionally in balance it has to be because you've been celebrating on Tuesday and like I said it could be man-made uh, the time is man-made so it could also be on Wednesday and flowing over into Wednesday from Tuesday if you are not emotionally imbalanced because you've been partying too hard then now is uh, is the warning you've got the warning take it easy get back into balance on Friday you have the tower unexpected new beginnings something has broken unexpectedly or a big change is happening on Friday as this is the tower something was not built on proper foundations okay this could be um, that you didn't read the small print in starting a job or a contract all right the small print in your contract sorry this could be an investment this could be a job this could be a relationship anything remember this is a general reading so if you need further answers please don't hesitate to connect with me for an extensive personal reading it can be as little as four cards so do go to my website and do see what uh, readings are on offer so the uh, you could might not have been able to make a decision or a choice uh, because we've got the contemplation card here okay and a meditation so the angels and the divine did it for you they gave you this change this unexpected change see it as an adventure and a new beginning when one door closes 20 will open they uh, the divine or the angels saw you sitting there contemplating and you couldn't evaluate it properly and make your mind up and um, because if you make your mind up or a choice um, then you might have been hanging on have I done the right thing have I done the wrong thing shall I make choose that or shall I choose that so instead of ha letting you hanging 
them hanging and they made a decision and gave you that change so you can't do anything about it the change is here and you have to stand up and carry on like I said at the beginning the end is in sight well there is your ending and your new beginning it was already pre uh, 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 pre uh, forecasted um, at the beginning of the week so at the end of the week boom Thursday that is happening let's see what is happening on Friday uh, a new beginning a change is great because it can bring in new beautiful things it doesn't have to be negative you have to decide now to stand up and carry on with what you've got don't look back at the past you can't change the past you can only change the present and the future and look where you are going you are going to the ten of sea the ten of cups happy times being together with family and friends emotionally fulfilled this could mean that um, the energy has flipped like I said uh, if you wanted to get pregnant and to have a new birth because that is what the ace uh, aces mean new beginnings um, and um, the earth is fertile it's a fertile time you might find out and you've been on holiday or you've taken a weekend away you might have got pregnant whoa extending the family look mother and father and the two babies and in this case in this deck um, it's showing definitely two and you also have the two of cups okay so there might even be twins in some cases that you are expecting twins perhaps you found out uh, that you were pregnant and you were thinking about it uh, how, am I, how, how am I going to cope with this and it's unexpected change could be that you are finding out that you're expecting to okay so there is a, an ending to sadness complications or difficulties emotionally there is a beautiful new beginning look at it you've got the rainbow and the rainbow means that heaven and earth are connected somebody up there is sending you a message we love you don't worry there is always help at hand but don't be scared to ask for help don't see problems this is what I'm hearing don't see problems and this could be for one or two persons um, because I'm reading for millions or thousands uh, of people um, uh, so don't worry there's always a solution don't make a mountain out of a molehill don't see problems where there aren't any problems and oh my goodness you've got 17 number 8 get back in your strength because 8 is your strength house and money house so money might be a worry of yours it is coming but be positive it says laughter and it also says laughter attracts unicorns in other words as well when you're happy you will be beaming out the beautiful rays like the rainbow or the sun and you will be a magnet to others you will attract happiness you will attract attention to uh, people or people will notice you wow mm, awesome so laugh if you've got a negative thought then say thank you I've for the warning for the negative thought and that is when it when you realize it that something is negative or you don't feel well then turn it around push that reset button right and think about a beautiful memory that you have experienced a beautiful day a day that w you were with family and friends bring that back bring back a positive thought and that will set the trend f uh, for that day laughter 
then we have six and six means that you are in balance and it's lying underneath the two Woo! nice one two even numbers and it says worthiness keep your head high worthiness and I also get um, coming in note know that you are worth loved loving you how do you say that you are worth love that is what I'm hearing there's somebody out there that feels not loved or they're not worth to be loved you are worth to be loved everybody is because everybody is unique okay so be positive like I said turn it around when was the last time you had a hug or a kiss or a compliment go back to that thought and s remember what happened then and how you felt you will feel happy again and it will bring a smile on your face if all our lives our relationships friendships work goes up and down okay the vibration changes well this month the vibration is action and busy so don't get stressed take time out for yourself that is what this reading is also saying keep the balance emotionally and perhaps financially keep the balance don't work yourself to the bone boom love yourself by taking time out for yourself and the last card is hope number 14 14 is 1 and 4 is 5 so don't get out of balance again you've got an other rainbow look at this and when you join it up it's beautiful it's playtime there is hope there's where there is life there is hope that is what I'm hearing you are like the butterflies in a transformational period okay you see the horseshoe there so luck is on its way and luck is with you and so is heaven and earth and the unicorn I take the unicorn really also as an angel I love unicorns because they're mystical creatures and life is a mystery and you make uh, your life what it is if you're negative it will be heavy and a dead horse that you're dragging so let go of the heaviness and the negativity try to become positive by thinking positive you are what you think look with new eyes and create the change that lies right in front of you boom wow look at that what lies in front of you beautiful new beginnings expansion of work of family and uh, perhaps expansion of a house you're moving from an apartment uh, to a house and garden and you are going to celebrate and keep that feeling from Tuesday the celebration and the happiness and I think you are I think you are going to accept the change that's coming or the change of energy and you're going to at the end of the week at the that is Friday at the beginning of the weekend because Friday is the beginning of the weekend you will feel totally and utterly positive well done I hope you have enjoyed this reading and I hope to see you in the life on Monday, Wednesday and Friday and take care and be uh, stay blessed and safe and um, please if you are new subscribe and hit the bell on all then you'll be notified I also put out notifications on Facebook Instagram and the community tab on YouTube so take care and be blessed.